The latest Bootstrap Studio update comes with an exciting new feature that many of you have asked for, support for dark mode. In this video, you'll learn how to build a dark version of any website. In one of our previous videos, we made this portfolio design. Today, we'll make it support both dark and light modes. We will do this by transferring the theme colors that we set last time to the new theme panel. What this panel does is override bootstrap variables depending on the color mode. First, we'll copy the primary, info, and dark colors over to the light mode tab. Since dark mode inherits all theme colors from light by default, these colors will be shared in both themes. On the other hand, the text color and background options should be different for each theme. Light mode will use the default bootstrap colors, and for dark mode, we will copy over the theme colors we set last time. For the background in dark mode, we'll use the dark color and set the text to white. We can then remove the colors from the appearance panel. We have a basic setup for both modes now. The issue is that the default text color in light mode is too dark for certain components. The name paragraph and the banner text, for example, should always be white, regardless of the color mode. To achieve this, let's select them and modify their color in the Options panel. Next, the background of the job title appears a bit too dark. Let's make it adapt to the selected color mode by setting its background to body background. To preview dark mode in the app, we can utilize the new color mode switcher. Everything looks good so far, but let's take a look at the rest of the page. The footer needs some work. Currently, the text is not visible and the background is too dark for this mode. However, we can utilize the variations of the body background, known as body secondary and body tertiary. The only remaining task is to add a theme switcher component, which will let users change the color mode. Usually we would place it in the nav bar, but since we don't have one, a theme switcher that is fixed to the top right of the page would look best. The floating theme switcher in our online library is just what we need. Download it and place it in the body. Switching to the browser, we can see our new portfolio. By default, the light mode is active, but we can change that from the settings dialog. The default color mode we choose will be applied to all pages in our design. If we choose Auto, the color mode will adapt to the visitor's preferred color mode. We'll set it to dark. Our design is complete. We can see that dark mode has been successfully applied. The theme switcher we added lets users switch between color modes. The website will remember their preference for future visits, ensuring a consistent experience based on their chosen color mode. Thank you for watching. Like this video and subscribe to get notified when we post new lessons and tips.